Alright, so finally the project uh, is completely together. Uh, it took a bit of time since the last update, primarily because of uh, me being pretty busy at work and life, and secondarily due to some technical issues with getting all the uh, sensors working together. The thing is, when you have multiple shields with the Arduino, uh, some of them interfere with each other, uh, for example, if they're sharing certain uh, uh, pins and you need those pins then you have to figure out a way around it. In any case um, it's all working now. I did have to learn um, how to use interrupts um, on the Arduino um, but uh, and I had to make some minor modification to the weather shield uh, but in the end um, everything worked as um, it should. So um, what's new Today, uh, basically, we have the uh, digital uh, temperature sensor, um, which is right here. Um, it's weatherproofed on a long uh, wire, which is nice then because I can just have it dangling outside of the uh, weather station box without worry about uh, it being affected by uh, rain, snow, or ice, etc. And this one is connected to a uh, digital port uh, number 10 here on the Arduino. By the way, sorry about the jumble of wires. Um, this is just a prototype. Obviously, this will be cleaned up nicely. Uh, but for testing, this will do the trick. So um, that's for the weather sensor. And then we have here um, the uh, two RJ11 uh, connectors with the um, wind sensor and, uh, and uh, wind direction coming on this port and the rain gauge going on the other port. And uh, these um, rely on using interrupts so that um, you know we, uh, we are able to keep track of what's going on even when the Arduino is doing uh, something else. And uh, the actual weather station is right here. Um, you have the wind uh, direction vane, okay. um, we have the anemometer for the wind, and we have the rain gauge. Um, this thing basically um, you know, has a, uh, a little cup here to collect the rain, the rainfall, and um, there is inside a very sensitive uh, tip bucket which tips every time uh, it fills up with 0 0.011 inches of rain. Um, and when it does, it sends a, uh, it basically closes a contact, which is detected by the Arduino. With the uh, anemometer, it's basically uh, read switches inside, and they close twice per revolution. Again, detected by the Arduino. The weather vane, I mean, the uh, direction uh, vane is, um, simply a uh, set of resistances inside and um, this is connected to one of the analog ports on the Arduino. So overall pretty simple in design and um, you know it's sitting on a pole. Uh, eventually I will have um, um, the electronics sitting somewhere underneath uh, on the pole here connected to all this. So if we go um, back to the TI um, and uh, using uh, the usual RXB so we run the program again this is a very rough uh, uh, test program so um, and uh, you're probably already familiar with uh, the other settings here we have the clock temperature request. Everything runs a bit slow simply because of the uh, uh, limitation on serial connection between the TI and the XB uh, modules. Um, so if essentially we get about uh, one full update per minute for everything, all the sensors. So here's the wind speed coming in and it's currently at uh, 0.16 simply because I had spun as I was demonstrating the wind vane. And what it does is it basically averages um, the number of clicks um, over the past, since the last time it was accessed, um, and uh, calculates from that um, wind speed. 
so um, if we it should go back to zero right now um, since we haven't touched it since the last update so there it comes it should be zero uh, and there we go it is zero wind direction is uh, well, there it is, 338 degrees, and rainfall is 0 inches. So let's play with it a little bit here. So we're going to go ahead and spin. We're going to change the wind direction, and we're going to shake this to make the bucket tilt. And we should see appropriate changes in here coming up. So there's wind speed. Now we should see a definite the wind speed change. There we are, it's 1.48 miles per hour. Wind direction changed to uh, 0 degrees and rainfall was 0 0.1 inches. So, yep, everything is working exactly as it should. So, the next step is at this point to um, package the electronics into a weatherproof. Um, uh, enclosure which I am going to design and 3D print um, and uh, create a proper interface using uh, rich extended basic um, to give a bit more uh, organized uh, data settings and etc. Also I'd like to figure out a way to create long-term logging of the data which can be accessed either via PC or simply uh, on the TI using the weather program. Um, and I have a couple of options here. I can use either the um, uh, the uh, SAMS card, but the problem with the SAMS card is that, of course, um, you know, you lose the data once you turn off the computer, um, which is a bit problematic unless we, I find a way to save it to disk. Otherwise, um, uh, there is another. Um, option which is a uh, RS-232 controlled uh, USB uh, drive interface which allows me to send uh, simple serial commands for uh, transferring of data, saving data and uh, recovery of data. Um, it will require some, uh, some experimentation. But anyway, um, this is where we are. So essentially the project technically is complete. Um, and it's really a question of uh, final packaging and uh, refinement. So I will post a complete uh, video with a full overview once um, everything is set.